write a C++ program to search an element using sequential search. In sequential search, an array can be searched to find a particular element is present or not in sequential order starting from the first index till we get the element or till the last place. During the search, once we get an element, the position of that element will be returned from the method. In order to do this, we are writing a function which is named as sequential search. The return data type of sequential search is int to indicate the position of the element which is present in the array. The first parameter is the array which need to be searched. Second is the number of elements present in the array n and VAL is the value that is to be searched in the array. By using a for loop starting from the index 0 till n minus 1, we search whether the element VAL is present in any of the location of array. So we write A of i equals val. If val the element is present at the array index i, we return the array index i. The loop will keep on repeating at any time we find the element val at a particular index i of array that will be returned. Otherwise, after the completion, we return minus one. Minus one is used to indicate that the element is not present in the array val is not present in the array A at any of the index. In the main method, we initialize an array which is named as A with a set of integer values. N is used to represent number of elements present in the array. By using size of method, we calculate the number of elements present in the array A. By using a for loop, we display all the elements present in the array. A num variable is used to accept the value that need to be searched in the array A. So we call the method sequential search. The first is the array that need to be searched, which is A n is the total number of elements present in the array and the value to be searched is n u m. And the result gets stored into the variable r. So by using a conditional operator, we check whether the value of r is equal to minus one. If it is minus one, we can display that the element is not present. value num is not present in the array a otherwise we can display the value is present at the index which is stored at r so the value of r will be either minus one or a particular index minus one means the element is not present if it is other value that will be displayed
while loop will keep on repeating as long as the value of the choice for the more execution is one. If the choice CH is zero, we break from the while loop and terminate the program execution. Execute and see the program output. Thank you for watching this tutorial.